There's a call for the North Carolina Board of Elections to investigate donations the video poker industry made to state lawmakers. WRL's Shelley Jackson joins us live from downtown. Shelley, what's this controversy about? Well, Renee, good afternoon. It is about political donations. Now, just about an hour ago, Bob Hall, formerly with Democracy North Carolina, filed a complaint here at the State Board of Elections. In that complaint, he is alleging the video poker industry gave $885,000 to candidates and party committees from 2019 through 2022. The complaint also says the North Carolina Coin Operators Association conspired to donate a record amount of money in a coordinated manner that circumvented reporting obligations for political action committees or PACs. Now, this was allegedly done by bundling checks from video poker donors. The donations ranged from $50 to as much as $5,600, the maximum donation under state law at the time. They organized and, and they didn't register as a PAC uh, and abide by the PAC limits. Instead, they uh, bundled their money um, and delivered it as one contribution, essentially. But it's way more than the 5,600. Uh, so they're, they're kind of circumventing the law by bundling money and giving it uh, to their legislators. And now after years of battling the video poker industry, state lawmakers are thinking about legalizing it and taxing it. I also reached out to the North Carolina Coin Operators Association for a comment. We have not heard back. Renee? Shelly Jackson reporting live in downtown Raleigh. Shelly, thanks.